Hello folks, how are we all doing? I hope we're staying well and safe. You're joining me on the 31st of May 2024. Um, it's a bit of a spice one for you. Um, been a while since I've really done a vlog. Um, I probably will edit this and put this onto YouTube as well. Because um, I haven't been... About very much I've been quite quiet with uh, circumstances and things that have happened for a bit of time um, but I made the decision this evening to do a bit of an update um, the, um, of what I've been getting up to um, I wanted to talk about this new craft that I'm learning at the moment and give you uh, six months in um, what it's like. Um, just give a real insight, hopefully, for others who are thinking about things to um, take take some of this on board. Uh, as of January this year, I made the decision to uh, learn a craft in IT um, and that's with um, a training provider in the UK just like there is a lot online everywhere there's a lot of a lot of industries posting um, especially on social media um, about uptaking uh, qualifications, courses, um, crash courses, intense um, qualifications. And usually you pay up big, big, quite a big investment or you've got payment plans. Um, the idea is once you've completed the what is every whatever craft you're putting in the the intentionally the you know the giving um prospects for getting um yeah, a job with a sizable salary there is a lot of demand where a lot of people are forced to do this because of a uh, cost of living and also because of um just uh demographics and environment and things that are go are going on at the moment it's very challenging and very hard people trying to make ends meet and um lifestyles and uh also i think it's an impact on mental health and um well-being i think it's forcing people to kind of um do make changes make sacrifices um and then when you see when you, especially when you get things on social media um it's quite it can, it can be um it's an impulse to uh get involved especially when you get told perhaps so you're gonna get uh if once you once you've done x y and z you're gonna be paid so much an hour or so much you know you get you get paid so much of the uh you know uh you get rich quick kind of um provocation okay um so I've kind of wanted to do this because um, I'm in my mid-30s. Um, I've already done lots of things in my past. Um, and I know some, so much of IT. But I think because of all the complexities, because of cyberspace is so is not safe uh, out there 
it is out of control in my opinion um and worrying i think and because of my circumstances unfortunately if you have known i am i have stroke history and that's added on to me being dyslexic um for me the reality of learning a new craft these days it's a well I, I rely on repetition i've got to go over it and over and over some things i can do okay but especially something academic it it is more challenging and especially after what i've been through um early the just a little um short time ago had a mental breakdown a bit um with all the things that were going been going on around me i um have also opened up a little bit more to emotional psychological abuse with um number one looking after my late grandmother and we had my immediate family kind of giving a lot of pressure which I think it's so common these days. Um, there's so much stuff that I think it's so common that people, people's mental health and well-being has been really tried. So then when you're trying to learn a new craft um, as well, um, I'm paying what thirty five hundred pound a month, no, no over not a month over overall. So luckily, I'm paying uh, by um, instalments, but sometimes out there, um, you've got like a big massive out outlay investment. You know, pay pay up for, up front kind of situation. And people are going to be very fearful. Oh, I need to really learn this real quick because, um, I've got I've got this. Suddenly, you've got this massive big bill to pay, on top of everything else. And then I think I've got I've, you know, hoping that once I pay you you pass pass what is your learning, you then you're gonna you're gonna be okay once you get this, but you've got to uh, then you've got to think about getting a job in that craft without that prior experience so there's a lot of anxiety shed i'm i've got a cohort of probably what well, there's probably about 20 of us i think um i think some of us have dropped and stuff um i've got like weekly uh, study sessions um i go on labs i go i've got a couple of textbooks i go on flashcards all that kind of, all the kind of similar kind of thing you would do if you were doing academic courses um it's pretty pretty much a bit like going back to school um so the i've got um four qualifications i'm preparing for three of them are with comp tia uh, uh, comp tia is a vendor neutral exam board um and they have a plus network plus security plus um and all the content and materials is is really good it's really good um but reality is guys is um if you're not had prior experience into it uh young or old um you you can't learn this craft like like straight away even if you pat even if you manage to 
pass some of the exams you still got to have some um, experience and it just takes time it takes time to be able to not only learn it but understand it and be able to um, you, um, use the knowledge profes proficiently because you still when you get to interview stage you got to be confident um reality is that i am out on my own just because they'll say oh we'll we'll help you with your cv we'll help you with your linkedin you know we'll help you get um onto a new a new job but the reality is you're out on your own um a lot of there is a lot of self-paced online uh, courses for quite a lot of different um, professions but in most in particular IT cyber security uh, coding or data analytics all kinds of um, IT related top um, professions Um, some people learn, learn the craft quicker, some people take a bit, a bit of time. I'm lucky in that I can take as long as I need to. But um, anyone has been told that you can do this in a matter of weeks or days or whatever, um, you you can't there's and i think it's i think it's the same for quite a lot of professions now but especially in the it because of because of the demand because you something you, you can't um it, there's no trial and error with it's so i feel it's like de dependable you've got to get it right um there's so much liability and responsibility on it because we're all having smart te technology in everything that we own more and more increasingly over ye over the years things will be everything will have some kind of smart technology based engineering and uh, the cyber space in my my view is so not safe and it's just way out of control um, and that's why i did it because whatever i do in my in my later years um i need to kind of really understand what you know least what is going on and how to keep myself safe um and w over the years when when things become more uh, complex challenging and sophisticated um th because of my background and stuff i felt if i didn't learn this craft now it's going to be difficult for me and i know there's going to be people out there th they're going to be watching this and thinking more you than me because i would have a clue you know but i'm i feel that in a few years time i'd be in the same boat because you know um it has really taken its toll a little bit on me um taking in a new craft on top of all the knowledge that i've got in the past um so i mean i've done this to be able to get extra skills in what i'm hoping to have a good work and life balance in the projects i'm, I'm going to do um 
that from this year. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just I can, you know, a lot of a lot of these course packages and bundles and stuff from a lot of companies, a lot of you know, um, learning. Um, self-paced websites and um you find out you you have qu quite a fair uh investment to uh to pay out uh which adds to the extra anxiety um i just wanted to do this video for for guys thinking about well, considering about um there's a, a lot of professions out there and they think oh crikey it's a few thousand pound that I've got to find um and you you know um really really think about what you want to do first before you commit to anything because um you know you can't afford to like drop, drop out, because nothing's for free, and it is you 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 can't, um, you you can't just be complacent thinking, I'm gonna oh I'll I'll get through this quickly as possible, and then once I get a job in this role, uh everything will be okay, um, I mean, I'm on my own on on this. Um, you've got you've really got to consider about doing something you enjoy first. Um, you really have, especially with you know if you're doing something that's quite intense, and you're having to make a lot of sacrifices. That can that can include so you know your social life, um, work life. Um, it can you know. If you're doing something intense, um, it, it, it over a bit of time it can take its toll on you, and you have to think about that. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to this month. I'm going to take uh, on some mock tests uh, to see how far I am with the plan to get some of these qualifications um, so that's the A plus the security uh, plus 701 and the network plus I forget what code I, what that one is and I've got a C stuff I mean um, on top of these I've had to do extra labs and other things uh with like google ibm um all sorts of different learning extra things to help me with these exams so what's happened now is i've had to i've ended up spread real thin um and it is coming it is coming but this is on like really only for me like proportionate or an add-on to the knowledge that I have from my professions and skills that I've learned over the years. Um, I th I also think you've got to bear in mind the average person is going to have to update some kind of IT knowledge, whether it's in personal life, your professional uh, your working life be all because of this everything being digital so us IT engineers or professionals we then end up having to teach others um, and that's and that's another worrying concern because there's like anywhere else there's good good cops and bad cops isn't there so um 
But yeah, um, really think about what whatever it is that you're planning on doing. Um, you know, make sure it's what you you want to do, and you're gonna and you're gonna um, enjoy doing it before you commit. Don't please just don't do it because you've been told you're going to get paid a lot more money for it. Don't do that. Don't you're going to make a mistake doing that. Make sure that you're doing it because you enjoy it, and then and then everything will fall into place. I think once I've got through mine, I've got an idea. I think of what I want to do. Um, and go keep with my being my own boss and use it integral to um businesses that from the the knowledge that I've got and the trade um it will just help my i t profession will help with everything else. Um, because I don't think I, I could do it full time. Um, there's a lot of guys, um, that do professions like coding and friends, like, uh, forensics, all kinds of things, you know, it's a you get paid a lot of money, but the sacrifices you have been paying, you having to work an awful lot of hours and people aren't really aware of the sacrifices you've got to do um so i'm just i'm hoping i haven't bored you to death talking forever <laughs> um i six months in doing this i've pretty much been isolated from the world just coming to work and then back doing this and all the rest of it um because I want to see it through. And a lot of people can't do that. And that's why I wanted to do this video to get people to really think about what they want to do. If you're having a career change, if you're wanting to do something new, you have having a look online, you or you see an, an advert on social media and stuff. Really do your homework first. Find out the ins and outs. Find out is it something that you you want to do and you enjoy. Um, and hope hopefully, um, you make the right make the right decision for you. And because uh, yeah, it'll all fall into place. But um, hopefully in a little. In a little while I will give you an, an update on YouTube uh, the projects that we've got going on and um, all sorts of cool interesting stuff um, but uh, anyway stay safe and I'll catch you hopefully in the not distant future with another video thank you for listening and uh whatever it is you're doing um take care of yourself all the best guys take care